it mean to you to be officially back at the National? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, it's full circle. So it's a, you know, not a lot of people get to come back to where it all began. Um, you know, it's been oh, 18 years or 19 years. So it's been you know, a long time and I'm really excited to be back. Um, you know, it's a great bunch of boys and, you know, the team have been doing really well up until to the weekend. So, you know, I'm hoping, you know, I can bring up, you know, some leadership and, you know, some quality to the younger players here and, you know, hopefully help them and, and nurture them into to being better players. I mean, it's such a huge journey. What's the difference now between the Roar and back in... Oh, six, oh, seven, yeah. when you were under three. Yeah, like, I mean, it's very different in your yeah. high school. Yeah, a long time ago. I, I can't remember too much, to be honest. I was a very different person back then to what I am now. So um, I'm a lot more professional and thorough about my um, my football. Uh, you know, but, you know, it's, you know, I mean, the... What I can remember, you know, it's the Brisbane still, you know, it's been a big club. It's, um, you know, struggled a little bit recently, but, you know, hopefully we can, you know, keep, you know, string some performances together and, you know, hopefully climb up the ladder and, you know, make Brisbane proud of it again. Do you reckon the, do you think the Raw fans have forgiven you for scoring against them and playing yeah. your own name uh, yeah. those many, many, many Yeah, games? I was, um, you yeah, know, I was an immature kid back then. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I vaguely remember it, but, you know, was, uh, like I said, I'm a completely different person now. Um, yeah, I'm a Brisbane boy. You know, born and raised on the north side, so um, you know I've always loved Brisbane. I talk it up everywhere I go, so you know, I'm really excited to come back in front of my friends and family, and, and um, you know hopefully help the team and help the team progress. What, what got you over the line, Robbie? What, what was the motivating force for you? You, you could have called it quits. So you've done everything in the game, but what what, what was the drive for Robbie Cruz? Yeah, I felt like um, you know I wanted to give back to, to the to the game and to, to, to the you know come here to the boys, and you know there's a lot of good young young quality players here, so. You know, I remember when I was a young kid, I had a lot of, you know, leadership, a lot of older players who, you know, I looked up to and taught me a lot of things about the game. And, you know, I was, you know, I struggled a little bit with things back then, but, you know, I picked up little things from the older boys and it actually put me on my way to, to being a better professional. So, you know, I've learned a lot, you know, throughout my time, you know, particularly in Germany. So I'm hoping I can come here and, you know, help the younger players, um, show them about, you know, being a professional, little things off the pitch. And hopefully I can help the team on the pitch in, in the bits that I play so um, you know I was close to finishing but you know Warren was um, you know talking to me quite a lot and you know was really positive about um, what he wanted to do and um, you know I saw the, the, the a lot of the, the games over the last four or five weeks and um, defensively the team's been really strong and um, you know just a few little tweaks here and there and you know things can change really quickly so hopefully I can you know help that and um, help the team you know get a few wins together. Who are your mentors at the Royal Money? The ones that you the set you on your way? Yeah I mean um, obviously Craig Moore was was big back here in the day when I was here um, you know I was only 16 I think at the time and you know I lived with him for a week I remember um, when I was struggling a little bit uh, Frank got me to go live with with Craig for for a week and um, you know, just show me things to do, um, way to, different way of you know mentally preparing myself. Um, that helped me a lot. And then I went down to Melbourne and had you know Muskie and, and Archie and these likes who who helped me a lot in, in mentoring me to, to be a better professional and, and uh, help get the best out of me. So you know, hopefully I can you know, implement some of those things and help the younger guys here. Goals, mate. Uh, the Raw need goals. <laughs> They've been pretty good defensively, like you said, until last week, which was a bit of a glitch. But uh, you got a few in you. Oh, I hope so. I mean, um, you know, I'm just here. Um, you know, obviously I'll be used off the bench predominantly early on especially so I mean if I can have, have an impact in the team I mean last season at Victory I think I changed a lot of games coming off the bench so um, at my stage of my career um, I think that's a, a really good role for me and um, if I can impact the game um, that's, a, that's my goal. And the aim is to play at home Warren said you're not playing this weekend but yeah. I guess to, to play to return at home in front of your fans would, was that something is achievable for you? Yeah I think so um, you know, I've always been predominantly pretty fit throughout my career um, or particularly after you know, I left Australia. So um, I'm feeling pretty good. So hopefully if I can um, you know, get another you know, week under my belt and hopefully next Friday I should, should come good. You've achieved so much. What, what, what motivates you to, just, to keep going? I mean, you said yourself that you were close to finishing up. You could, the easy option could have been to retire and, and, and celebrate a wonderful career. What, what motivates you to keep going? Um, oh, I think I just love, love the game. Um, you know, I enjoy coming to training and, I mean, it's... You know, really can't be coming to training for a couple of hours a day and, and playing with your friends and, and kicking a football around. It's um, you know, it's been my job since I was you know 16 years old. So, you know, I love the environment the boys have created here at the club. Um, you know, Warren's you know created a really good environment amongst the boys. It's a great change room to come into. I experienced that when I was training you know a couple of months ago. Um, 
yeah, and like I said, I'm still motivated to play football. I love the game. I love training. You know, I want to impact. I want to help the young kids, you know, progress. Uh, for me now, I've, I feel like I've achieved a lot in my career, but I feel like if I can give back um, and help some of the younger guys and help the club, you know, progress, that, that's my goal now. So I'm really excited about that. And, you know, hopefully I can start that next week. I'm, I'm just, hopefully I can start it now at the training, you know, training with the boys and showing them, you know, the way to go about things. When you, you do finish up, do you have plans to, to stay with the Raw? some sort of coaching maybe way? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, obviously, um, you know, I've been in you know, contact with the club about certain things. Um, you know, I'd love to be involved in some aspect. Obviously, football has been a big part of my life and, um, you know, I feel like I've achieved, you know, a lot of great success on a personal level um, overseas and with the national team. So, um, if I can, um, if there's a role in the future for me, you know, I'm always open to that. Um, at the moment, I'm just purely focused on helping the team and helping the players in the club, you know, thrive on the pitch and, and on the training pitch. So, at the moment, that's uh, predominantly my goal. This, this last year must have been pretty rough, you know, not having a club and going through the injury. How would you compare that with some of your dark times over your career? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, unfortunately, it's, you know, people know I've had a lot of injuries in my career. Um, a lot of them have been, you know, ones that really weren't in my control. Uh, I never really did too many muscle injuries. Uh, you know, I prided myself on being a you know, really good professional off the pitch. Um, a lot of them were just, you know, pure contact. A lot of my knee and my, my knees, I had you know problems, and you know, that's something I couldn't control. But obviously, I know that's out there, and it's it's difficult to overcome that that perception. So um, this one was, um, yeah. I mean, I mean, I was, you know, 34 when it happened. So, you know, I mean, I was open to if that was the end, I was content with the career I had. Um, but obviously, I had that hunger in me still to, to keep going. And, um, you know, Warren reached out and was really persistent, like I said, about me coming down and thought I could offer a lot to the team. And, you know, um, hopefully I can, you know, lift the boys and, and help them out as much as I can. And um, I'm really happy to be back.